All right, guys, just here with one of my students, and she brought in her own electrolysis machine. And um, it's it's a new learning experience for me. My mom has worked with, with these machines before, but this one is, uh, as you can see with the technology, it's just a little bit older than what we're, we're used to dealing with. But that's okay because it's a good learning experience. And um, I'm actually going to let my student work on me with this machine. So... And I don't mind it, you know, I love when my students work on me because it's a good learning experience. And uh, so we'll, we're going to bring you some live action later, and be sure you hit like and subscribe on our channel. Appreciate it. Lay down. Thank you. Welcome back, gang. Just having one of my students work on my arms well, that's not work with me. this um, older machine. It's very educational. Um, you've got to do a few little things different, but it's good that she's starting out with this machine because she gets this one down she's going to learn the rest fairly easily mm -hmm. so that's a good thing and then plus this older technology has some has some interesting things that i like to learn we're learning we have to match both pedals so there's two pedals we have to match one for thermolysis one for galvanic so anyway we'll get back welcome back guys we're doing so this is the two-handed method for doing electrolysis so what she's doing is inserting the needle three quarters of the length of the needle and you have to yes with these when you're doing it you have to go fairly deep and then she'll apply the current and then slowly pull the other one. Only got one going. And, it, and it came right out oh, really? yeah so what she does is um, apply the current and then you slowly pull on the hair till it till it releases and if it's it got a, if it has a bulb then it's in the antigen phase you know you have it. So, glad we can uh, provide you this lesson here today, guys. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see this, but we got a bulb on the end of it. Does that got a black bulb on it? Black on the end? A little bit, yeah. A little bit? Okay, so that is a hair that's been successfully epilated, and you can see when you successfully epilate a hair like that, it has a big old juicy bulb on it. So you know it was in the antigen phase. Welcome back, guys. Today, what we're going to be doing is letting my students use the ClairBlend machine to actually practice on my arm today. As you saw from the um, earlier, she used one of the 1980s machines, electrology machines, and the, I'm not down in those machines at all. They're actually built quite well. It's just different type technology. It's more of an analog type system. Uh, today is going to be more of an updated system, so uh, stay tuned, guys. So anyway, guys, that's the new Clear Blend. We also have the new Pico Apolis. It's got the air on it too. It blows through the tubing cord. So we're going to start out with medium terminal. We're going to put 42 units of supply and 30 thermolysis in there. What do you think about that, Chelsea? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely different than mine. Okay. My old school machine. And, and, and earlier I was not making fun of Chelsea's machine, it's just different. Some of those older machines are fine. They're actually great. It's just different type of technology. So uh, stay, stay tuned, guys. That is the treatment from yesterday. So we're going to be treating a different area up here. So you never treat an inflamed area. No, I need a oh, okay. Okay. That's good. Oh, did I have a bulb? Did, didn't it? Yeah, a little, a little bit. bit. All right. Bulbs mean antigen phase. <laughs> <laughs> but it won't go in any straight, just the end of the time.
This was the rental car they gave me while they fixed my truck. It's actually in the shop. The doctor's wife, the doctor I work for, his wife actually kind of crashed it. So my teachers taught me never say anything negative on social media. So I'm just going to remain silent about this car.